Here we are in beautiful Minecraft, and we want to play some Minecraft, and we want to play with our friends, but uh, we don't want to share our server across the internet. We don't want to open any holes in our firewall. How are we going to accomplish that? Well, we're going to do that using Z-Rock. And so let's uh, take a look to see how that might work. Uh, there's a new blog post I put out, so if you wanted to go read the blog post, you can see this video in that blog post, and you can find it over on our blog, blog.openzd.io slash Minecraft. And I'll just go through the blog since uh, that's basically what we'll end up doing. You can see here is the overview of what we want to do. We want to have our Minecraft server running somewhere. We want to access it from my computer, your computer, your friend's computer, whatever it might be, right? Um, and we want to be able to have that Minecraft server accessed safely and securely. And to do that, we're going to use Zrock. Um, to make this happen, like it says, you'll need to install Zrock, invite yourself to the platform, enable yourself in all those three environments. And we're not going to do that right now. I've already done that. So you'll just have to go ahead and do that on your own. Uh, let's just keep this video to a minimum and let's keep on rolling here. So let's go back and take a look at, um, our not Minecraft we want to take a look at our terminal windows so here we have two windows these darker color this is the remote server you can see I'm running this out in Amazon somewhere and I've made a Minecraft user so that I'm safer and securer even even more so and so what I can do is I can start my Minecraft server up up here and that does take a little bit so let's go ahead and let that chug along for a second um, and then what we need to do is we need to use a Xerox reserved share. So we're basically going to run this command. Uh, you can see I've already run that command before, but I didn't copy and didn't, it's not pasting. Why isn't it pasting? There we go. Um, and so this time I'll do January 6, we'll call it January 6A. And what this is gonna do is it's going to make a TCP tunnel named uniquely my MC server, Minecraft server, Gen 006. So if I go ahead and I do that, you'll see Xerox has reserved a share for me and it's named my uh, MC server Gen 6 and A. So now what we can do is we can use the reserved share command and we can actually share our server over Xerox. Now, mind you, I have to use the A on the end. So when I do that, Xerox is going to show me a window that looks like this. So I can now access this Minecraft server using Xerox by running somewhere else in the world. Xerox access private, my Minecraft server January 6. And so down here on the bottom, I have my Windows environment. And that's where I'm going to run this. So if I run that, you'll see what happens is Xerox pops up and runs it with 9191. Uh, that is the port that is the default that Xerox uses. That is not the port we want to use. So what we want to use is we want to access that Minecraft server on the port and IP of our, cho of our choosing. So we can run that same command with an A and tell it to bind on 127.001.255.65. And so when we do that, you'll see now we have TCP 121.001.255.65 being shared. And so now, because I've uh, enabled Xerox, I should be able to come to multiplayer direct connection 127.001 join the server boom 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 and you'll see i have joined the server and you can see this is what the uh the see what it will look like um you know you're playing with minecraft uh no pick oops that's not the w button no particular lag on my side uh things look great and so that's how you would do a direct connection so let's go ahead and add a server because we could choose Xerox uh, Minecraft 127.0.0.1. I don't know if I need 255.65, but I'll add it anyway. Click done. And now you see I have a persistent server that I can just join. It's the same server, and the same uh, dirt, not dirt, sand, sand that uh, was there before. And there you go. I don't know how loud that audio was. I don't know. If my narration was acceptable, I'll listen to it back and hopefully it is. And so that's a quicker video than the first one I did. Um, and hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can access your Minecraft server safely and securely from anywhere. Thanks. We'll see you next time.